Hi, <coughs> it's Rob again, or at least uh, it's my hand. Um, and uh, what I'd like to say is uh, <coughs> I've got another little uh, micro project. Um, maybe some of you know this. This is the uh, uh, the Glock field knife, <coughs> uh, which the Austrian army uses. And uh, <laughs> not strong enough to uh, open it, as you can see. Um, it's a very nice knife. <coughs> I like it a lot. Um, it's uh, something like, uh, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, perhaps. Not quite <coughs> thick. Um, is very, very, very uh, strong and uh, has a very fine blade on it. I have no idea what the uh, steel is. Um, but it's a very, 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 uh, takes a very nice uh, sharpen, uh, sharp edge, and it stays sharp too. <coughs> I think it's great uh, for uh, wandering around and uh, uh, in an outdoor situation. So, and it's got a very nice uh, scabbard or sheath, <coughs> which has this detachable belt loop. Um, and so you can very easily um, slip it onto a belt and now it won't go away. <coughs> uh, it's also got a little hole for water uh, to come out of. Um, should you get wet or get rained on or uh, walk through a stream and so on. So it's a very nice uh, solid piece of engineering and they're quite reasonably priced. Which was important to me. <coughs> so. Glock Austria 78. This is the 78. Uh, there is a 81, I think, <coughs> is the other one, uh, which has the serrations on the back of the blade here, uh, like a saw. <coughs> and so, if you want to saw through something, the uh, the other knife is better. And they come in three colours, as far as I know: black, which is this, um, then uh, a kind of sand desert colour and then uh, olive drab. <coughs> so, uh, this is the subject of what I wanted to do today. And as you can maybe see here, I'll zoom in, <coughs> uh, there is somewhere to hold a lanyard. So you keep this, there you go, um, so you can keep this uh, from flapping around on your thigh or wherever. And um, <clears throat> uh, at the moment I don't actually have anything in there, uh, I don't have a lanyard, um, but I thought what better opportunity than to use some of the black paracord which I've just uh, been testing, as you can see, for melting uh, in a, another little video I've produced. <clears throat> and uh, was uh, intuitively clever enough to uh, make this 45 degree angle, melt this at 300 degrees centigrade uh, with my temperature controlled iron and as you can see now, luckily <coughs> it passes straight through. So this is uh, what I wasn't able to do until now because I had melted the end of this with a, um, with a match or a, a cigarette lighter <clears throat> and the uh, the problem was that it made this awful uh, blob on the end and the blob was bigger than the hole in the back of here. I was getting all ready to drill out this hole. Um, <clears throat> I was getting all ready to drill out this hole here um, but then I thought stop. Uh, it's probably shaped as an oval for a particular reason. I'm sure Glock thought about what shape it should be and the, the thickness of the walls <coughs> and uh, probably they think that uh, thinner than that and it will become uh, rather brittle or uh, um, easily broken. And so I have not drilled it. <coughs> I merely found uh, a better way to shape the end of this, uh, as you can see, this 45 degree angle, um, 
to make it easier to pass through. And now I can proceed um, to uh, make a, <coughs> a lanyard through the end of the scabbard here. Uh, on a different note, <coughs> what I'd like to show you is <coughs> perhaps if you visit um, uh, Such00, zero zero, I think he uh, shows um, shows a knife like this, and he also shows how to remove the plug out of the end of the handle. Um, if I did something like that, what I would like to do is put a glass breaker in there, maybe, um, or something that will allow me to hammer using the pommel. I don't think um, this is really um, designed for that. So I would like to have some metal piece here. <coughs> uh, it's conceivable I could make that myself, but I'd uh, have to think about it. Um, and use maybe a pin through here to, uh, uh, to hold it on. Um, although another nice uh, idea is uh, maybe have some kind of loop through here. So uh, I've got a few ideas. <coughs> but basically the, uh, the plug here is removable. Um, and I think you, you have to lever it out. Check out Such00 SOO's uh, TCH00. I think it's TCH. It might be SOOCH uh, 00's <coughs> video on the uh, Glock field knife. And uh, you'll see how he removes the, this uh, plug here. Okay, so <coughs> that's a very nice. Uh, field knife um, and a very robust scabbard uh, or sheath and uh, now we've got the chance to put a, uh, a lanyard restraining strap through the end of it. Okay so we're back and uh, as you can see I've managed to feed two of these uh, threads through this uh, eye here and um, I've done that because I think uh, two strands like this side by side will be a hell of a lot more uh, pleasant on uh, the thigh or the leg or wherever um, than uh, just a single, a single strand or a single uh, uh, paracord. So that's <coughs> uh, the first part. Um, how I did that was I took a piece of uh, earthing cable, uh, stripped the insulator off it, the yellow and green insulator, plastic insulator off it. Um, gosh, can we zoom on that? And <coughs> made a very fine um, metal uh, piece of uh, almost like something for threading a needle because in the end this is more or less what we did. Um, we're taking so this piece of metal here and uh, taking some paracord, here's some, and <coughs> I don't know if I'm getting my thumbs all over it so basically, this is this is how I did it, and I'll uh, zoom in on that. <clears throat> so, taking the metal part, I could thread that through the um, uh, I could thread that through the the eye of the uh, scabbard, no problem, um, <coughs> and then I fixed it in a vise and so let's fix this in the vise with the scabbard here and then just pulled basically um, <laughs> was hard work uh, because the uh, plastic of the scabbard didn't want really to let such a large object through but at the end of the day it did and as you can see we've now got um, uh, see if we can get a better focus on this. 
we've now got uh, two bits of thread uh, through this uh, eye as you can see or not thread paracord through this eye as you can see what I did then was uh, to tie one of these uh, knots in the end because uh, my intention is to have it loop back <coughs> through there and in my uh, uh, bag of tricks I found this uh, bobble uh, maybe I will make this eye somewhat oh gosh we're still on zoom so here we go uh, I found this bobble <coughs> in my bag of tricks and uh, this is something which will go to secure the uh, the thing around my leg. So there we go. That was a uh, another little micro project um, for providing the uh, lanyard around the leg of a myphoner. Uh, so there you go. Uh, hopefully um, you've seen how a complete beginner can actually make something useful from this uh, paracord material. Paracord uh, uh, cord. There you go. <coughs> and um, so I must say I'm quite pleased with that. It's a bit more useful than I uh, thought I would be able to do. As you can see I used the temperature controlled iron to melt the last bit of uh, uh, paracord on the end here. <coughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, you know, all the usual stuff. If you liked it, press like. <coughs> if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff, press subscribe. Um, if you PM me, which uh, according to the new system, I actually don't know how that works, but I will try and get some message back to you um, if you're asking me questions. And, uh, yeah, until the next time, uh, enjoy. Thanks. Bye.